In today's video, I'm gonna go through the tutorial goals in The Sims Free Play. This is the 2018 version. Welcome to The Sims Free Play. Get ready to create and take control of a whole town full of Sims. It might look quiet now, but you're gonna make this place thrive. Let's get started by moving in your first sim. Click on the green symbol that appears above this house and it will take you to the create a sim menu. In the first tab you can change their name, their gender, their skin tone. You can also press tap to randomise sim if you want to just pick one that's in the game already. The second tab is where you choose their clothes, hairstyle, face shape etc. Once you have finished creating your sim, click on the green tick in the corner to start the game. The game will then show you the controls, so firstly you need to pan the camera, which means just drag on the screen. The second one is rotate the camera, for this you need to use two fingers as shown in the picture. Then you need to zoom in, again you use two fingers to drag out, and then zoom out. For this you need to use two fingers and drag in. Now we can start the tutorial goals. Buy a toilet. You can find this in the home store. This is the button at the bottom of your screen that is pulsing. Click on this to enter the home store. And then click on the bathroom tab. You'll then be able to see in there the first toilet is free. Click on this and you'll be able to place the toilet in the house. Position it where you want it and then click the green tick to place it there. This will complete the task. The second goal is use a toilet. To do this, your sim needs to click on the toilet and select the option use the toilet. This will take seven seconds. You can see at the bottom of the screen the bar. The red one is the bladder need. So using the toilet will fill up this bar and fulfill your sim's need. And we've reached level two. Each time you level up, you unlock new items and you also receive an LP reward. The house unlocked button means that we can now add a new house, which we'll be doing a little later in this tutorial. Now a pop-up appears telling us more about needs, so I did briefly explain it, but this shows you in more detail. Items around the house have these little symbols on, so you can see the little toilet symbol that we saw when we clicked on the option to use the toilet, so you know which items increase which needs. Briefly, hunger is increased by the fridge, bladder is increased by the toilet, energy is increased by the bed or coffee machines, hygiene is increased by sinks and showers. Social is increased by talking to other sims or using the phones. And fun is increased by using garden patches, playing computer games, etc. These aren't all the items you can use, this is just a few of them. But keep an eye out for the symbol when you click on an item. It shows you that unhappy sims earn standard XP, while inspired sims earn mega XP. So they earn more experience points, so you level up quicker. And also while gardening, they will earn more simoleons than they will do if they are not inspired. Also, you can't send unhappy sims to work and they also mope around the house, so they walk really slowly. Wash hands in a sink. Click on the sink and select wash hands. This will take seven seconds again. If you had a more expensive sink with a higher star rating, it will be quicker to complete this task. All items have a star rating and most items you can buy ones with a higher star rating to complete it quicker. So if you had a three star sink, then it would take five seconds instead of seven. Expand a room. Go back to the home store and we're gonna click on the rooms tab. This allows you to add new rooms and resize or delete existing rooms. To resize a room, click on the white lines 
move arrows on them, on the room and drag. Once the room is the size you want it, click the green tick to resize that room. This one is free, but it will cost you simoleons after this. Add flooring. Back in the home store, we're gonna find the floors tab and we're going to place the sky blue carpet. The first one is free. By the way, your home store might look slightly different to mine. It depends what size device you're playing on. I am playing on an iPhone currently, so my home store looks different from those of you playing on, say, an iPad, as the home store is at the bottom of the screen on larger devices instead of at the side like this. We're gonna place the sky blue carpet in the living room. To do this, we need to click on the carpet and then click on the floor we want to replace. And then click the green tick to place it there. Add some wallpaper. For this, we need to go to the walls tab and find the wallpaper. We are going to place the white paint as the first one is free. Again, it is the same as how you place the flooring. So click on the one you want to place and then click on the room you want to place it in. And then click the green tick and we've reached level three. So we've also unlocked a new sim now, as well as another house. Keep levelling up to increase your sim count and the amount of houses you can build. Buy a lamp. You can find lamps in the lighting section of the home store. We're going to place the El Cheapo table lamp as the first one is free. I'm going to place this on the countertop. Again, position it where you would like it and then click the green tick to place it there. Move an object. To do this, you firstly need to be in the home store and then you'll be able to click on any object you want to move and then you can reposition it and click the green tick to place it there. This is really handy when it comes to redesigning houses later. If you're playing on a smaller device, you need to click on the move and sell button to be able to move objects. But on a larger device, you just need to be in the home store and then you can click on the object. This is just so the store is moved out of the way so you can see what you're doing. Browse clothes in the wardrobe. Firstly, close the home store and then you can click on the wardrobe using your sim and select browse clothes. From here you can change how your sim looks, so the clothes they're wearing, their hairstyle, eye colour, etc. But you will not be able to change their name, gender or skin colour from here. To do this, you'll need to click on your sim and select the ultimate makeover, which will cost you 12 LP. I do have a video on that, so check that out for more information. But I'm not going to change how my sim looks right now, so I'm going to exit the wardrobe by clicking on the door with the arrow button in the corner of the screen. This will still complete the task. Buy a garden patch. So we're gonna go back to the home store again and we're gonna find the trees, plants and flowers section. If you're playing on a larger device, you'll find this on the outdoors tab. The first one is the garden patch. And the first one is free, so we're gonna click on that, position it in our garden and click the green tick to place it there. Garden patches are really important for making money. Click on them to grow plants. And once the time is up and the plant is ready, you can click on the plants and collect your simoleon reward for planting. Grow some bell peppers. So we're going to click on the garden patch and the first one is bell peppers. We haven't unlocked anything else yet. As you can see, carrots unlock at level four. Bell peppers are free to grow. Most of them cost simoleons to grow them. As you can see, the carrots below cost free simoleons to grow. They take 30 seconds to grow, whereas the carrots take five minutes. And underneath where it says bell peppers, you can see the reward you get for growing them, which is four simoleons and four XP. Whereas if you grow the carrots, you get 32 simoleons and 20 XP. So click on the bell peppers to grow them and wait 30 seconds. Once they have grown, you'll see bubbles appear on the garden patch. Click on these to collect your simoleons and XP for growing the bell peppers. And we have reached level four. You can see on there we have unlocked the carrots now and also corn. Claim your daily reward. You have a mailbox at the front of all of your houses. Once a day you can click on this and claim your daily reward, which will be simoleons. 
the letter symbol will appear above your mailbox when it's ready to collect the reward. So when we collect this, we'll get 71 simoleons. It says at the top there, next reward in 8 hours and 48 minutes. Collect revenue on the town map. Click on the Pulse in Town Map button at the bottom of your screen. This will show you your town. From here you can see all the houses you have, all the businesses you have. Obviously it's quite quiet at the moment, you've only got one house, but it will get really busy. There's a lot of exciting places to build. To collect the revenue, we just need to click on the simoleon symbol on the top of the house. And that completes the task. Build a workplace fire station. So we're going to build the fire station. But before we do that, I'm just going to talk you through the collecting revenue from your houses. It isn't just houses though, when you build other places too, you'll be able to collect the revenue every so often. On the first house, it's every minute. You can see the timer above the house. So as you progress through the game, make sure you keep going on your town map and clicking on all the buildings to collect your simoleons and experience points. So now we're going to build the fire station. The fire station is a workplace, so your sims will be able to go to work there once it is built. Click on the fire station and it will show you the requirements for it. So it says 2 minutes 30 seconds, this is how long it takes to build. You need 500 simoleons to be able to build it and you need to have one sim, which we do. Then underneath that it shows you the salary for a firefighter. So this is a firefighter level 1. As you get promoted, the salary increases. And under that it says town value. So when you build the fire station, this is how much your town value increases by. Increasing your town value allows you to earn extra LP when you reach certain milestones. We're going to click build. This will take 2 minutes 30 seconds to build, but we're going to speed it up. Click on the fire station again and a bar will appear. It shows you how long it's got left on that task. And at the side of that, you can see the orange use button. This is your LP button. This is going to cost you zero LP for this time, as the game is showing you how it works to speed up things. This is especially useful for quests in the future that have a time limit. LP is the special currency, so it may take you a while to earn a lot of it. If you need help earning LP to speed up tasks, then check out my cooking hobby for LPs video or how do I have so many LPs post. I'll put the link for those in the video description. So if you press the LP button, you will speed up this, so the fire station build will be completed instantly. Click on it again to finish building it and to complete the task. Get a sim a job at the fire station. Now this is slightly different again depending whether you're playing on a smaller or a larger device. If you're playing on a larger device you'll see this on the right hand side of your screen at the bottom rather than on the middle left like it is on a smaller device. This is the sim info panel. Click on this and you'll see the only tab available currently is the occupations. This is careers. So we're going to click on the suitcase that appears next to Marcus's name. So it says Marcus and it says unemployed. So click on the suitcase, then you'll see the list of jobs available. Currently only the firefighter job is available as we have only built the fire station so far. All the rest of the careers are locked. So we need to build those places to be able to unlock those. We are going to click accept job as a firefighter to complete that task. Add a new sim. To add a new sim, we firstly need to add a new house. So from the town map, you can add new houses, which allows you to add new sims, as you cannot add a new adult sim without having a house free to move them into. We're firstly going to click on the blue house button and it will come up with the house options. The only option currently available is the furnished townhouse. If you click on the magnifying glass, you can see how that house looks. Under that is the town value picture and it shows that we won't get any increase in our town value for building this house. And under that it shows you that it takes five minutes to build and this one is free. So we're going to click on it to build it. It will ask you if you're sure you want to build this house, so click yes and it will start building. Again we can speed this one up without using any LP. To do this you need to click on the house that's building and then click on the LP button again. It will then turn into a greenhouse symbol. Click on this to complete the building. Then it will come up with the house option to add a new sim. So we're going to do this and it's going to take us back to the create a sim menu. Once you've finished creating your sim, click on the green tick in the corner to add them to the game. 
inspire a sim by using a cupcake. As you can see, your sim isn't particularly happy. All their bars are red. So we're going to instantly fulfill their needs by clicking on the button on the right hand side of the needs bar. It will then come up with two options. There's a picture of a cupcake and a picture of a slice of cake. We are going to click on the cupcake. Usually this will cost you five LP. I know it takes longer to fulfill their needs individually, but it would be cheaper than wasting all your LP on it in the future. So click on this button. This time it won't cost you any LP and your Sims needs will be fulfilled and they will be inspired. When they're inspired, they sparkle. So you can tell easily that they are inspired. Place a clock from the inventory. The inventory is where all your stored items are. These are the items that you have brought but aren't placed in your houses. This is a great way to move items between houses. To get to your inventory, you need to go back to the home store and click on the inventory section. Click on the item and then click the green tick to place it in the house. Open Sim Tracker. Oh, and we've reached level five. So back to the tutorial, open sim tracker. This can be found in your sim info panel. So the same place that you got your sim a job, but this is the first tab along. Click on this and a pop-up will appear explaining about the sim info panel. So it shows you your sim, what they look like, their name and their age. If you click on the sims picture, you can go to their location. Under the picture of them, you can see a suitcase. So this is how you send them to work. And then on the other side of that, you can see a whistle or it will be a house symbol. If you click on the whistle, you can bring your sim to that house. If you click on the house button, you can send your sim home. This button changes between either of them depending on where your sim is. If your sim is busy, you cannot bring them to where you are. Call a sim over. To do this, we need to open the sim tracker and we're gonna bring Marcus to this house. To do that, we tap on the whistle and Marcus will appear. This is a plumb bob. The plumb bob shows which of your sims is currently selected. That means that is the sim you're currently controlling. Switch sim selection. To do this, you need to click on the sim without the green diamond plumb bob above their head. And next to where it says their name, you can see a button that has two people and an arrow. This is the switching sim selection button. Click on this and we will now be in control of Tara instead of Marcus. You can see that because Tara has the plumb bulb above her head now. Be funny to a sim. This is an interaction between two sims. To do this, you need to click on the other sim who doesn't have the plumb bulb above their head and then select the option to be funny. Build the park. We need to go back to the town map. So click on the town map button again. The park is next to the fire station. So click on this and the requirements are it will take four minutes to build. It will cost 500 simoleons and two sims are required to build it. Click build and we have to wait four minutes for the park to finish building. While the park is building, I'm going to plant some carrots. Marcus is also inspired, so instead of earning 32 simoleons for planting carrots, he's going to earn 48 and also 28 experience points instead of 20. We need to buy a garden patch for Tara's house first before she can start gardening. They cost 20 simoleons each, but they're definitely worth it. I'm going to come back when they finish gardening and the park is complete. A pop-up will appear to let you know when something is finished building. 
click OK and head back to the town map to finish construction. All you need to do now is click on the park and you will complete the task. This pop-up is showing you about your town value so we can see it is now 30,000 and you get a reward at 50,000. And that completes the tutorial. It says congratulations you've moved in your first two sims and given them a great start in sim town. You are now free to pursue exciting quests, build more of your town and form new relationships. What are you waiting for? As we reach level 5 during the tutorial we have unlocked a new quest to start straight away. This is the first of our main quests. Main quests have to be completed in order and you can only unlock them once you reach a certain level. So this is the breadwinner quest which unlocks at level 5. The 2018 version of this quest is coming very soon. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube to check out these videos as soon as they become available. You can also find all of the quest posts on my website, thegirlwhogames.blog, as well as loads of other information and tricks and tips about The Sims Freeplay. Thanks for watching. Bye.